You know what? If a big Cheeto can become president of the United States of America, I think I can accomplish anything I set my mind to in life. Absolutely nothing is impossible. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. My name's GBay99. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today, I am very happy to say, is our first video since the end of season six. And let me kick this off by saying, 2016 was a fucking weird year, man. I know some of you guys don't like me swearing on the YouTube channel, but if any sentence deserves it, it's that one. 2016 really was a fucking weird year. The Cubs won the World Series for the first time in 108 years. The Cavs won the NBA Finals. Leicester City won the Premier League. The Big Cheeto became president. Britain is leaving the EU. So many great and influential people unfortunately passed away, including a gorilla that the world has been mourning for six months now. And on top of that, League of Legends has had a pretty screwy season too because that's totally on par with everything else I mentioned. We've had the least amount of champion diversity at Worlds than we've ever seen before. New systems like Dynamic Key were introduced that killed the competitiveness of Ranked and cultivated this really weird atmosphere where Ranked, the serious game mode, wasn't taken entirely seriously. And on a more personal note, I just had a bad year myself. On the positive side, I played exactly 420 Ranked games of Aurelia. You're watching the 420th gameplay right now, but there were plenty of negatives as well. I never relied more on a single champion to carry me in solo queue than before. I had an absolutely terrible series of win ratios and KD spreads with almost every champion I played. I was able to make it to diamond as I did in previous seasons relatively easily, but I didn't do too much progress in advancing or improving beyond that. And I don't think you guys have also ever been as harsh on me before. This was a year that I really feel like I lost the respect of a lot of my subscribers to a point where I think more of you want to see me fail than succeed. But you know what? I'm gonna turn this around starting right now. This is the time of year when everyone is starting to think about New Year's resolutions and about how, oh, this new year, this next year is gonna be my year. But no, screw all that. I'm starting my new year and my new season of League of Legends right now. I don't know if this year has been as awful for you guys as it has been for me, but I encourage you all to do the same. If you're gonna change anything in your life, you have to start off with a little bit of a game plan. So let me take some time to share mine with you. I ultimately have three big objectives in my mind that I want to accomplish in the next 365 days. Starting off with number one, make Jibei great at League again. My level of skill has gone absolutely nowhere this season, and I'm going to fix that starting today. I'm going to be taking preseason to learn some new champions and hopefully dedicate myself enough to a point where I can actually get good at some of them for the new season. You guys are probably going to see some more videos of me trying to figure out top laners that you all main and you will cringe, as you always do, but it will be for the greater good. I'll figure it all out by the start of season seven and hopefully that will lead to some more diverse picks more entertaining picks in future series like road to diamond and the eventual road to masters that we're going to be doing in the upcoming year second i'm going to make creative content again holy shit League of Legends content has taken a nosedive on YouTube. For every creative video you see being put out by Carp, there are 10 full gameplay commentaries of new skins on the PBE that get four times as many views, or stream highlights, people just re-uploading and double dipping on views that they got on Twitch, and I have sadly fallen in with the worst of them, pumping out uncreative, unthought-provoking videos, some of which just aren't entertaining because, hey, it's easy. Making a rambling video that takes 10 minutes to record and create is so much easier than trying to be creative for 10 hours, and I get twice the amount of views when I do. But this year, I'm gonna stop that. I know I'm just some shitty 400k sub channel on YouTube that's dying and doesn't really matter, but if I fall in to just releasing full gameplay commentaries on PBE shit, I'm no better than the rest of them. I hope you guys enjoyed my last video. That was something a little bit odd and different, and the direction I hope to start taking my channel. I know I'm not the most creative person in the world or the best YouTuber, and I'm gonna keep on making goofy discussion videos where I give opinions on issues, and I'll do simple gameplay videos like Road to Diamond, where it's just gameplay and face cam, but from here on out, I'm going to make a true effort to supplement that daily content with some actual creativity. I don't have a right to talk trash to everyone else if I fall into the same sellout bullshit mindset. Number three, get masters. Like I said, if Big Cheeto can become the head of the most powerful nation on Earth, I sure as hell can reach Master Tier. I know you guys don't believe it. You don't believe in me, but you also didn't believe in the 30 days of Jibei either. You didn't believe in Road to Diamond. You didn't believe in the second 30 days of Jibei. You didn't believe in the motherfucking sock. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna do it right. You guys are gonna call me cringy. You're gonna call me a garbage player. You're gonna call me trash. You're gonna say my content sucks. Every new video I release will continue to make people unsubscribe, as every previous video has done for the past 
past two months. But you know what? You may see me struggle, but you will never see me quit. I will accomplish this in season seven, I swear to God. And on top of that, I'm gonna get my life back on track in more ways than one. If the year 2016 has left you feeling scared, concerned, or upset over the uncertainty that your future holds, I ask you to join me when the going gets tough, the tough get going. This video is getting pretty dramatic and preachy, as I'm sure you've noticed, and I think you all know why. These past few days across the globe, we've been faced with an uncomfortable truth about a potentially ruined future that's just around the corner. A future that leaves many uncertain about the safety of their lives as they know it, and what they might have to deal with over the upcoming hill. I'm talking, of course, about plants in League of Legends. But hear me out, we will get through this. There is a brighter future tomorrow ahead behind that ugly gimmicky jungle mechanic. 2016 sucks, but 2017 will be much better. So let's all go make it better together. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck in solo queue and have a wonderful day.